a smoke and a pancake. You know, flapjack and a cigarette? Hmm, all right. Cigar and a waffle? No. Pipe and a crepe? No. Bong and a blintz? No. no. Oh, well, then there is no pleasing you. What's going on with that section? Did the bus driver's GPS not work? Did they go? Are they at Concord Motorsports Park waiting for the feet, waiting for this race to start? What happened? I don't know. It's one section, and there is not a soul sitting in it. That's uh, that turn way all four, night. Turn four. Those are good seats. I got it. Yeah. I know what it is. It, it's that's the it's, it's the Chris Myers fan club section. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's oh. good. It's, it's, it's only a flesh wound, Chris. Oh, and Chris, to use your line, I'll be appearing at the Chuckle Hut in Mooresville all week next week. <laughs> no, he cares, uh, he, he cares because he doesn't care. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 funny stuff. Come on, say something. You, you, you guys haven't been this funny in what, last, since you last won a race, Daryl. It's been that long. <laughs> that was a last, decades. That was last, last night. night. That was last last night. Night. night, my friend. Uh, but what's happening here is that section separates the folks who are allowed alcoholic beverages from the folks in the family section uh, over in the turn four area. So thank you, Jerry. Um, I have this theory that if, if you don't know what you're doing and you and you admit it, then the one who doesn't know what they're doing. Me and uh, like like I admit it, and so I'm not trying to fake anybody out. Um, I think somebody that would be real dangerous would be someone that doesn't know what they're doing and then tries to fake. Acts like they're doing what they're right. doing. Right. So uh, I told Slugger, I don't know what to do to it. Go have me, a, he said, go have a cold Coca-Cola and a slice of Domino's pizza so I can get prepared to run the Aaron's Dream Machine today. And it's sprinkling. Ah, okay, I was just gonna ask, there's a red flag out what it's for, and that, uh, that answers the question, Matt. It is raining. BP. And I know it was raining before Matt because he has hair. <laughs> we talked about all, all the animals. You know, Tony Stewart, when he won the race here in the spring, had the hula hoop girl in the back bobbing around. I looked in the package tray in the back of the car. It isn't there. Maybe it couldn't last the entire season, huh? I don't know. Matt? Well, Benny, at the spring race earlier this year, the hula girl actually hula herself to death. She actually broke apart. The team used safety wire and bungee corded her back together with tie wraps. She made a few more races, and then she was no more. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I would say if, you, if you're moving that fast back and forth for 500 miles here in Atlanta, you're going to have some problems at the end of the day, huh? Yeah, she's going to be sick. And I know he knows what I'm talking about. With all these cameras and radios, well, I can't speed down pit road. I can't cheat, because you guys can see the tack. I can't give any bad gestures to my fellow competitors. I can't get angry and say any bad words. This is tough. <laughs> <laughs> I feel your pain right now, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> he's having a snack. Cow tail, but when these cow tails get real hot, you can't unwrap them, so. I'm doing the best I can here. <laughs> All right, let's. Let's let you in on the joke, okay? When Wally sits here in the booth with us, he has these things called cow tails. They're vanilla flavored with caramel and a few other things, and that's what he munches on while we're doing the broadcast. And I can't imagine this being good in a hot race car. <laughs> and it's melted inside the wrapper, oh, and he's trying to gosh. suck the thing out of the wrapper. So we, <laughs> we've decided that if Wally's going to do some more of these races, we've got to find these folks and pursue a sponsorship oh for him. The people from Aaron's have given us some nice new furniture. The girls from Aaron's are here. They brought the furniture, but they left a lot of their clothing at home. But you know what? That, that's okay. So they are here showing off the furniture. We got a little radio in here for you, Wally. So, you know, you can come in here and listen to the radio and hang out on the bus. And this is what the bus is for, for people to come and enjoy the race, sit inside. There's even water in here. You yeah. can have a nice view of the race from up top. How about that, Wally? That's why I want to go down this to listen to the radio. Yeah. <laughs> so you can, uh, <laughs> and so you can watch the race. Well, you don't want to talk to these girls, do you, Wally? No, no, no. no. Oh, and of course not, because, you know, Aaron, Robin would not like that at all. Would you? Marty, you, can yes. you should stop there. I am. I would. That would be my, my <laughs> cue for you to go, Alan. Thank you. How about race cars? What race cars? <laughs> oh, <laughs> those race cars. Okay. Heads up. BP's going to christen the bus. Back hey, everybody, up. stand back. Back up. Here we go. This is the first time you've ever christened anything, BP? Yes, it is. Now, don't right. just don't knock out the headlights, right? There you go. Just don't knock out the headlights. We got All right. Headlights. Everybody look out. This the the pit cruiser is... <laughs> <laughs>
Try the bumper. <laughs> they don't make bottles like they used to. Strike or they, one. They make buses like they used to. Or buses. Shall we try again? Yeah. All right. Yay! What are we going to do now? Why don't we go get thrown out of Applebee's? Sounds like <laughs> a good idea.